Right now, lithium-ion is the biggest bottleneck holding EVS back. Battery packs account for 30 to 40% of a vehicle's cost. Fast charging accelerates degradation. Thermal runaway remains a fire risk. Long road trips are still inconvenient. And the entire industry is heavily tied to China-controlled supply chains. That's the time for Tesla's aluminum-ion battery to land in the 2026 Model 2. It could change everything. The price of entry-level EVs, charging time, global supply chains, and even the future of gasoline cars. So the real question is this. Is aluminum-ion the breakthrough that can fix every major weakness of modern EVs? And is it actually ready for mass production in 2026? In today's video, we're breaking down how this chemistry works, whether Tesla can scale it at giga level, and what it could mean for real drivers especially those who care about long-distance travel, ownership costs, and reliability. Before we dive in, hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's push this channel to 12,975 subscribers. Every click helps us stay independent and dig deeper into the stories other channels don't want to touch. What is aluminum ion and why is it considered a game changer? In simple terms, aluminum-ion battery technology aims to radically improve the user experience of EVS by addressing the four most persistent complaints – charging time, battery lifespan, safety, and cost. Unlike conventional lithium-ion systems, which still require from around 20 to 60 minutes of fast charging and begin to show significant capacity drop after roughly 1,500 full-charge just discharge cycles. Aluminum ion promises to deliver full charges in as little as 5 to 10 minutes and endure between roughly 3,000 and 10,000 cycles. In other words, two to five times the cycle life of lithium ion packs. On the safety front, aluminum has inherently higher thermal stability, reducing the risk of thermal runaway. While the lighter weight and far more abundant lower cost raw material profile suggest not only performance gains, but also manufacturing and supply chain advantages. When placed side by side, the contrast becomes striking. A lithium ion system today generally requires 20 to 60 minutes for a fast charge, supports on the order of approximately 1,500 cycles, is vulnerable to heat-related failures, relies on relatively expensive raw materials, and remains heavily dependent on China-dominated supply chains. In contrast, Aluminum ion is being developed around the target of just 5 to 10 minutes of charging, on the order of 3,000 to 10,000 cycles of life. A more stable thermal behavior, cheaper and more abundant materials, and a supply chain less concentrated in China. Given these advantages, most industry watchers believe this technology, if it can be scaled, has the potential to change the rules of EV ownership. If aluminum ion really can fully charge in 5 to 10 minutes and last 3,000 to 10,000 cycles, which benefit matters more to you as a driver? Comment, ultra-fast charging, if you want a gas station-style experience with almost no waiting. Comment, ultra-long battery, if you want a pack that lasts 2 to 5 times longer with less degradation over time. Tell me why you chose one or two in the comments. I want to see how real drivers think not the analysts. Why does Tesla need this technology for the Model 2? Because Tesla's next strategic milestone is a true mass-market EV priced between $17,799 and $19,999. And to win this segment, Tesla must eliminate the two biggest objections our audience keeps bringing up in the comments, range anxiety and charging time. Many of you want an affordable EV that can travel close to 1,000 kilometers on a single charge, without waiting forever at a charger. And aluminum ion is the only battery concept today that gives Tesla a realistic path to deliver both. With higher energy density potential, ultra-fast ion diffusion, and extremely low internal resistance, this chemistry could eventually push the Model 2's maximum range toward 900 to 1,000 kilometers while still cutting charging to just 5 to 8 minutes, effectively recreating the refueling rhythm of gasoline driving 
and slashing energy cost per kilometer by 70 to 90 percent compared to gas. And this isn't just about consumers. Tesla needs a battery that is cheaper, safer, and longer lasting than lithium ion if the Model 2 is going to be the iPhone moment of the auto industry. Aluminum ions projected 3,000 to 10,000 charge cycles is also the only architecture that truly fits Tesla's 24-7 robotaxi strategy. A lithium-ion pack that starts degrading after approximately 1,500 cycles simply can't sustain a driverless fleet at global scale. But a longer-life aluminum-ion pack means lower maintenance, lower downtime, and a dramatically lower cost per mile. The Supply Chain War how can aluminum ion help Tesla break free from China's lithium dominance? Behind every battery breakthrough is the supply chain, and right now that supply chain is Tesla's biggest vulnerability. In 2023, global lithium mine production reached approximately 240,000 metric tons, up around 18% from the previous year. But producing lithium ore is only part of the picture. The refining, processing, and manufacturing steps are where the choke point really lies. According to Columbia University data, around 65% of the world's lithium processing capacity is concentrated in China. Another source states, China accounted for more than 60% of battery-grade lithium refining capacity. The International Energy Agency reports that for key clean energy minerals, China is responsible for 60 to 70 percent of lithium and cobalt refining and processes around 90 percent of rare earths. This dominance illustrates why U.S. and European policymakers are deeply concerned. Electric vehicles risk being tied to China's strategic leverage, just as previous energy systems were tied to oil-rich states. Now consider aluminium. The world's primary aluminium production in 2024 was around 72,000 metric tons, or 72 million tons, with China alone producing about 43,000 metric tons. Aluminium is far more abundant, globally diversified and cheaper as a raw material compared to lithium or its processed derivatives. For a company like Tesla, Inc., that means the possibility of sourcing battery-grade aluminium components from the U.S., Canada, or Australia. Markets seen as politically aligned and supply chain safe. That kind of access gives Tesla a potential strategic edge. Less exposure to Chinese export restrictions, less volatility in material cost, and greater control over battery economics. In other words, Scaling an aluminum-ion battery strategy is not simply a technical innovation, it's a supply chain revolution. When Tesla finally rolls out the Model 2 with an aluminum-ion pack, they aren't just trying to offer one more EV. They're aiming to build a platform that avoids the risk of reliance on a foreign power controlling your battery's raw material and refining pipeline. Although lithium-ion remains dominant today, its supply chain bottlenecks and geopolitical risks suggest a ceiling on how far costs can be reduced and how independent EV makers can become. Aluminum ion offers a new frontier, a chemistry built on materials that are widely available, globally diversified, and less constrained by strategic choke points. For Tesla, that means lowering costs, gaining supply chain autonomy, and offering a battery that isn't hostage to geopolitics. The Supply Chain Countdown how can aluminum ion really be ready for the 2026 Model 2? Tesla has laid down enough breadcrumbs to make the 2026 timeline at least plausible. Elon Musk has repeatedly hinted at a next-gen chemistry for Tesla's low-cost platform during earnings calls and closed-door investor sessions. And in the past year, multiple battery patent filings and supplier leaks related to aluminum-based cathodes and solid-state electrolyte variations have surfaced across U.S. and Australian registries. The timing matches market pressure as well. By 2026, global EV demand is projected to surge again, driven by sub-$25,000 models, and the only way for the Model 2 to hit its $17,799 to $19,999 target while undercutting gasoline on total cost of ownership is with a chemistry that charges faster 
cycles longer, and scales cheaper than lithium-ion. On paper, aluminum-ion checks all three boxes, and that's why the industry believes Tesla might actually pull the trigger during this window. But this is where excitement meets gravity. Scaling a new battery is the single hardest step in this industry, and history is full of chemistries that looked revolutionary in the lab, but collapsed on the factory floor. Aluminum ion will face the same hurdles. Mass production brings yield loss, integration complexity, and early stage cost spikes that do not disappear overnight. Even a world-class manufacturer like Tesla must prove it can industrialize a next-gen cell at gigafactory volume, and the company will have to do it without slowing Model 2 production ramp up. The core truth remains unchanged. Lab not equal factory, and no breakthrough matters until it survives 24-7 manufacturing at scale. There is also the economic risk curve. Even if aluminum ion is cheaper long term, the initial cost per kilowatt hour will almost certainly be higher in the first production phase, and Tesla will be racing the clock to drive costs down before the Model 2 hits its full global volume. That is why many analysts believe there is still a realistic scenario where Tesla launches the first Model 2 variants using lithium-based cells, then switches to aluminum ion mid-cycle, similar to how Tesla phased in 4680 cells after first launching to 170-based production. So the honest conclusion is this. 2026 is possible, but Tesla must prove it at scale. Momentum, patents, and strategy all point in the right direction, but the supply chain will determine whether aluminum ion arrives on day one or whether it slips to a later Model 2 revision once the Gigafactory line is ready. The technology looks like a breakthrough. The question is whether Tesla can industrialize it fast enough. Now I want to hear from you. Would you buy a sub $20,000 Tesla if it charges in under 10 minutes and goes 1,000 kilometers? Comment 1 for yes or 2 for not yet. Which matters more to you personally? Faster charging or longer battery lifespan? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss our next deep dive into Tesla's biggest battery moves. More leaks and technical breakdowns are on the way. You won't want to miss what's coming next.